and this yes. is actually a really important topic for people who have those furry friends. Yeah, it can be really scary. You know, it's great when you can take your pet with you when you go out of town, but sometimes that just isn't possible, right? And you need to board them. And if it's the first time you're boarding your dog, it can be a little scary. I remember boarding my dogs for the first time and like calling every day to <laughs> check on them. Uh, Chris Dolce Moscolo is here with Central Bark and he's got some great advice for us. How you doing, Chris? I'm wonderful, how are you? I'm good, thank you. I want you to tell me a little bit about Central Bark. You guys have gotten some good accolades as being a top place to board your dog. So tell me a little bit about what you guys do. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we offer, in my opinion, every aspect of dogs that you need, daycare, boarding, and grooming. Um, the three things that we really do care about is the emotional, the physical, and the mental uh, health of all of our dogs who come through the facility. And each day they come in, you know, we treat them like they're our own dogs. And, you know, it's just, it's really amazing. I love that. And, you know, it is scary. So what do you tell pet parents, puppy parents, when they are dropping off their dogs for the first time about that feeling of nervousness, like, oh, are they going to be okay when I get back from my trip? Absolutely. Um, even before that, even when we're talking about things that they can bring and stuff like that, we're, we're mostly talking about being comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things I love uh, explaining to parents is that, you know, bedding, something that smells like home will make your dog more comfortable. Mm -hmm. It'll have them think about home, have them think about, you know, their loving pet parents and whatnot. So they don't feel abandoned exactly, at all. Exactly, exactly. So you say there are things we should bring and things we shouldn't bring. So let's start with the things that we should bring. You say we should, for certain, bring their food. Absolutely. Uh, every dog is under different dietary restrictions, and the last thing that we would want to do is, um, you know, cause any harms to their stomachs. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, food prepackaged into individual Ziploc baggies, and then all of those put into a Tupperware container. Of course, everything labeled with um, names, even phone numbers as well, just in case something does end up getting misplaced. But um, even in terms of, of medicine, we ask that it be in one of those um, weekly pill reminders, mm -hmm. um, as well as even if they needed to bring any sort of pill pockets or peanut butter, or even certain, um, like we have some dogs that bring almond butter because mm. they're allergic to peanut butter. Mm -hmm. And they can bring all of that information, all of that, all that belongings, and then even if anything does need to be refrigerated or anything like that, we can absolutely accommodate that as well. Yeah, I think it's so interesting that it's food, food containers, medicine with all of the instructions. It's probably better to over instruct absolutely. with these things so that there are no questions. Yeah. Absolutely. And you say that they can bring comforts from home. What does that mean, comforts from home? Comforts from home, like I was uh, saying with a blanket, you know, mm -hmm. something that does smell like home makes them more comfortable. And then, of course, um, any toys that um, parents are okay with that their dog chews on and plays with unsupervised. I also like to think of it like if you do leave for the day, what does your dog play with? You yeah. can bring that as well. That works perfectly. I love that. Let's talk about some of the don'ts, what we should not bring. You say don't bring their dog beds. You can bring a blanket, but don't bring their dog bed. Why? Some of the larger beds, you know, are difficult to wash and dry, mm -hmm. you know, in a standard washer and dryer. So um, just to be on the absolute safe side, blanket, something small that can fit in a normal size washer and dryer. Puppos love tennis balls, mm -hmm. but you don't want them to bring tennis balls. <laughs> we have plenty of them, so no, no need for tennis balls or even any sort of food bowls or water bowls. We have plenty of stainless steel water bowls that are washed and sanitized every single day, um, so no need for water bowls and no need for tennis balls. Yeah, that almost gets too confusing when there's food and water bowls that come from home because then it's like too much for you guys to have to handle when you've got the clean stuff right there. On exactly, and even in terms of sizes of water bowls and food bowls, all different sizes, all different ranges, so um, we are definitely well stocked up. And you said, you know, bring toys, but bring the safe toys. Don't bring the kinds of toys that are starting to fall apart. Exactly. If you notice any sort of fluff or even any sort of damage to the toy itself, that one might be able to better off stay at home. Um, but yeah, any other toys that, like I mentioned with the parents that do leave the house, anything that they do play on and chew on um, while they are at home is okay with us. How big a deal is supervision at a place like yours? I mean, that's what I would always worry about is, are they watching my dog? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah uh, at all times. And even um, with the specifics with our boarding, with our two different types, with our daycare dogs, uh, and then with our non-daycare dogs who do come in for boarding, we make sure the non-daycare dogs get their own environment, their own space, not only for the safety and comfort of everybody else, but for the dog as well. You know, we don't want them to feel too overwhelmed or anything like that. So one-on-one -on -one time um, with our separate stay and play dogs, um, really we find to be the best experience for everybody. I think that's so cool. All right, put all the information up on the screen. If you want more information, we really appreciate you coming in, Chris. It's, it is, it's really hard for pet parents, but knowing that, you know, people are caring for your pups the same way you would, that really helps. Good to see you. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Mary, back over to you.